Okay, well, first of all, Rachel, how did you get started in Christian music? Well, I, um, I live in Colorado, and um, there is this seminar that goes on every year, and I had no idea what it was. I hadn't heard of it. Um, but I was asked to just go up and sing um, at this late-night kind of cafe kind of thing. And, um, I mean, I didn't really know what I was doing, but I was like, okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and um, sang there, sang two songs, and ended up um, getting offered a record deal that night. So that's kind of how it all started. Wow, so you're in the right place at the right time then. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> well, in listening to your music, uh, you can kind of hear influences of different artists and things. What are some of your uh, influences, I guess, uh, both musically and spiritually? Well, um, actually, I've always been a big fan of Stevie Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> They've really been like, he's, he's really kind of stuck with me for a while. Um, I really um, I really love you too. Um uh, musically and um, also, I mean, the way that they, um, you know, how, how, how bold they are in, in what they believe in and um, just how real they are and, um, uh, and I love their music too, so. Um, I love uh, Six Sense and the Witcher, uh, Switchfoot, um, kind of bands like that, I guess. Um, and just spiritually, um, I actually really look up to my mom. Um, I've always just been taught just just to be really real about your faith and not just to just to say what what should be said and what um, you know what you what you think sounds the best, um, but just to be you know to uh, to pay attention to to your flaws and um, and where where you know you have less faith and then work on it and because uh, that's you know that's the best way to grow. You don't you don't miss anything. You don't skip over anything because because you're being real with yourself. Well, I know one thing that you're doing right now, uh, we talked about this a little bit, is uh, you're on tour, uh, doing a tour with Jeff Moore right now for Compassion International. Uh-huh. And uh, first of all, I guess for folks who may not know, I mean, obviously if you've been to a, any type of a Christian concert, you probably have at least heard of Compassion International, because I know a lot of uh, Christian artists are backing that, which is great. Um, if for folks who may not know, though, kind of explain Compassion International and what they do. Well, um, it, it's an organization that uh, sponsors um, kids around the world, um, that that need that need money and need um you know financial attention and, and all that kind of stuff um they um they reach out to kids in in neighborhoods like that i actually went to the dominican republic um last year um just to see what went on you know and um basically uh but you know we went to kids houses that were sponsored and we went to these places they call projects and um that's where all the kids get together and and um, get to you know get to have kind of an extended family um, with other with other kids and um, actually uh, learn about Christ and about what what He does. So uh, in a way, we say we we're, you know they're helping to save lives in, in two ways. You know, and in, in giving them financial attention and um, and also teaching them about Christ. So it's a, um, it's a very cool. Uh, organization and kind of provides a lot of hope for, for those people. So talk a little bit about the concerts for, uh, I guess, uh, this Compassion Tour. How does that differ from other shows that you might do? Well, it's, it's basically focused around um, our experiences with Compassion and with the kids and our passion for it. Um, uh, mixed, you know, and, and actually the way the way we do it is like Jeff Moore will come on for a little bit and then I'll do a little section and then and then I'll come back and do a section and he'll do something and we'll do a praise and worship. It's kind of just a whole interactive night. It's not like a you know, one act after another, get off the stage, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, and um, you know, halfway through it we, we tell stories about our experiences and um, give give everybody a chance to um, to uh, go check out the, the compassion table and and look at the kids and all that kind of stuff. So it's a very um, it's a very complete night of stuff and um, and good music to go along. Okay. Well, I appreciate you taking time out of your uh, schedule today, Rachel, to be with us. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Thanks you for having me.